Hi, I'm Tom stop, Campbell from Cult Stop, stop there, oh. stop there. Don't know why you didn't hide it. What? What's that about? M about? I'll never get over, kid. That is that is rubbish. It's gimmick infringement. Put it down, start again, go. Hi, I'm Tom Campbell from Cultaholic.com. I'm not a champion anymore. I'm not even bothered anyway. I'm fine! That is Adam Pacitti. Look All at right. his face. Here is some news. Let's look at that. We get into Sasha Banks' return on last night's Raw. Bailey has challenged an NXT star to a match at Clash of Champions. And the King of the Ring is returning. But who's in it? We'll find out soon. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, Mick Foley. Santino. I, no, no. I am a revolving door, and I'm also Sasha Banks, the boss, who made her return to Monday Night Raw last night. She's been away since WrestleMania. It's been a long time, it? hasn't it? It feels like we've been talking, it, talking about it for a lot longer than the time she's been away, actually. I'm very, very happy about this. Not because Sasha Banks has come back and she's turned heel, and I could talk for days about how her heel run down in NXT was absolutely fantastic, and she's going to have a brilliant character, but because we can stop talking about when Sasha Banks is going to return, <laughs> it's, it, we, we, there's no more speculation. She's not going to AEW anytime soon. She's back in the WWE. She's going to be immediately inserted into the title picture. It's all good stuff. Tom, are you happy? <laughs> I'm over the moon. The return did make me did make me chuckle. Michael Cole, mate. <laughs> You silly bean. So Natalia's in the ring mm -hmm. and she's saying it's been a year since my dad died today and there's silence and then suddenly Sasha's music hits and Michael Cole's like, oh my god, it's <laughs> boss time! Like, mate, shut up! Rest in peace, Jim. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jim. You'd have had a laugh at that. He does a good laugh, does Jim. She's now got blue hair. Oh, that was Dab it. She, she ripped this the is, weave off. Yeah, this is, yeah that's, that's cool. It's a... It's not the big image, image change, it's not like an Io Shirai image change, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Big fan of the blue hair. Is it now like if it's blue for evil and red for good? Is that how that works? Is What's that the, the thing? Is it when Flair wore red, he was losing? What was the colour that Flair would wear when oh, then he would when lose? Flair was losing, he'd normally be in his pants, wouldn't he? Well, he's always in his pants. <laughs> Stripped to his Especially pants. Especially on airplanes. <laughs> uh, so I think, yeah, I guess blue means bad, Sasha. Blue is bad. Pinky red means good. Red is good. Red you can eat, blue you can't. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a story about somebody. It's a current WWE superstar, and I, I've been told this story by somebody who was in a locker room with him. I can't say who it is. Okay. I really can't say who it is. <laughs> but he was backstage uh, before an indie event. This is when he was, uh, he was he was in a big promotion that isn't WWE, but he was also allowed to do indie events. <laughs> and he had two bandanas in his hand. One was red and one was blue. <laughs> and he goes like that. Red means heel. <laughs> he puts the red one on because he was a bad guy that night. So look through some indie bookings featuring people wearing red bandanas and you may just find Hulk Hogan. It was Hulk Hogan, wasn't it? Spot on. Hey. Bailey's been calling people out on Twitter because that always works really well for her, doesn't it, Adam Pacitti? Just do what you want all the time. Mess up the storylines <laughs> by promising matches that would be far better than what will eventually be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> so Bailey has uh, tweeted out to Candice LeRae. So to Bailey that pushed this out there and said to Candice, do you want to wrestle at Clash of Champions? And of course Candice has gone, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, that'd be really good. That's some nice exposure for me. Shame they won't let us do it, mate. What, what are you playing at? She literally did, did just say, do you want to wrestle at Clash of Champions, right? Yeah. I guess for the SmackDown women's title. I presume so. Like, obviously, I would love to see this match. But at the same time, like, why am I even speculating in story? I was gonna say, I was gonna say like, well, it's Candace not... didn't win her match at NXT TakeOver. It's just bollocks, isn't it? It's just, it's just bollocks. And, they shouldn't do this. Do you know what this is like? This is like when you were a kid and you'd turn up after school with like your mate and you'd say, is he alright to stop for tea and stay over? So, well no, we haven't discussed this, we haven't planned this, we've got other things <laughs> yes, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just turn up with your mate. There aren't enough potato smileys <laughs> exactly. in the fridge right now. You can have him round on Freezer, Saturday. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it's a match that just isn't going to... Let's not pretend. I know. Let's, it's, let's it's not, not do the whole dream NXT <laughs> WWE match. Oh, there's going to be a big stable of NXT guys versus <laughs> WWE guys. It's just not going to happen. It's just Bailey being a bell end and messing things up. For... <laughs> Bailey being a bell end. Also from Raw last night, no fiend. Just want to point that out. 
No fiend. It's a shame, isn't it? I assumed, because they announced that Steve Austin would be appearing via Skype, <laughs> I thought the lights are going to go out, and then on video link, the fiend's going to appear behind him. Mandible Claw. That would have been cool. I did think at one point like he was going to debut because Steve Austin was chatting and the audio was getting choppy and the visuals were crackling. <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I realised that's just Skype, in it? Um, but the King of the Ring was the big announcement from Raw last night. We're getting the return of the King of the Ring, Adam Pacitti. Very happy about this. It's been reported for a long time that Vince McMahon is not a fan of tournaments generally, <laughs> no. especially one. I understand it because I'm not sure that we in 2019 or in the, in the past few years should have been crowning a new King of the Ring every year. Hmm. You because think it should be like every couple uh, of years? Maybe, yeah, just because like, I don't want to see a new king gimmick every year. That's more to do with it. Like, people have done it in the past where they haven't been the king and they've just won it. But then you get people who go all out, Mabel and like Barrett went all out, Seamus for a bit. Um, so I don't want to see that every year, but it feels like the right time. Who is in it? Okay, so in this year's King of the Ring, we've got Baron Corbin. He's the winner. All hell King I'm Corbin. saying it now. I'm, 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 like, before we get to the speculation, <laughs> speculation, sorry, and we will speculate more, King Corbin has a ring to it. He's done. He's been balding Cor Corbin. He's been <laughs> bald Corbin. He's been authority Corbin. Weatherspoon's Corbin, and now he's going to be King Corbin. That is a lovely five pack in the WWE figures range as well. <laughs> uh, Cesaro, Cedric Alexander, uh, Drew McIntyre. Now mm. Drew, I think. King, is he your boy? King Drew, maybe, maybe. Ricochet's in it though. Now Ricochet already has the handle King Ricochet on Twitter. So oh, that's, he's, that's he's halfway there living on a prayer, isn't he? Um, Sami Zayn's in it. Uh, Samoa Joe, Ali, Andrade, Apollo, Cruz, <laughs> uh, Big Buddy Murphy, yep. uh, Chad Gable, Elias, Kevin Owens, and Shelton Benjamin. Quite a mixed bag of folk in this I, King of the Ring tournament. I don't rate Apollo Cruz chances in this one, to be honest. He had a great showing at SummerSlam. Look at him getting that pay-per-view money. I thought the network had broken yeah. it was showing me main event. <laughs> <He did. laughs> Do you know, speaking of main event, who did I just see <laughs> on there who was on there yesterday? Uh, Cesaro. Cesaro teamed with EC3 on main event yesterday. Aww. They won. <laughs> they I know, won. Though, but come on. Yeah, I, I, know, I know. I know. So who have you got? Right, okay. My head says Ricochet. Really? But, yeah, but yeah. my heart says Cesaro. I'd like Cesaro to win the King of the Ring. King Cesaro. Yeah, I just Antonio. like Antonio. I like that a lot. King uh, Big. What do they call him? Big Dick Tony. <laughs> That's apparently his backstage name. It might not be Dick. It might be school with Big Knob like. Tony or something. But, <laughs> just no one liked him. That's why they called him. Oh, that. I mean, but uh, I think this is something else. <laughs> who, am I, who am I to predict anything happening anymore? I yeah, mean, like, what the hell were you thinking? I, I, when I was uh, cutting that predictions video, I got to and I was like, oh, okay, you've taken a chance with Lorcan. Fair enough. Ziggler. But you must No, what are you, you I know I know I want to talk. There will be people commenting right now. I know I suck at predictions. I know I suck at predictions. But Ziggler over Goldberg. I nearly had a heart attack when he hit that super kick though. I yeah, like, I can imagine. Oh and Ross looked one. poorly. Ross looked <laughs> poorly. And final October the 4th, SmackDown makes its debut on Fox, and it's going to be a 20th anniversary celebration. <laughs> and a whole litany of WWE legends, Hall of Famers, and people just knocking around have said they're going to be a part of SmackDown's big debut on Fox. And one name that jumped out to me was the man called Sting. He has just been announced. Yeah. Sting, the Stinger. So let's run down the names who will be joining Sting. Kurt Angle, Lita, Mick Foley, Booker T, Hulk Hogan, he's coming for you. <laughs> Trish Stratus, Goldberg, Jerry Lawler, Mark Henry, and L Ric Flair, sorry, have all been announced. The Undertaker is listed. No, he's not listed. He's actually he's not, not listed. listed, but he's on the poster. He'll be there. He's a SmackDown legend. He's a well, WWE. He's the, he's the Undertaker. What worries me a little bit about this <laughs> is that. You tell I'm a bit all over the place today, Tom. You're, I've been up all night. What NXT happened, and man? SmackDown have genuinely messed <laughs> me up more than ever. Like, I'm, I'm, I thought I was used to doing these, and then it's been an absolute killer. I stupidly scheduled a web development meeting. I'm just talking bollocks. No, come start on, this no, story no, no, no. We, want to, start again. we want to hear about the web development meeting. We're not going again. <laughs> so I had, not, I had to get we'll up. We'll do it live. We'll do it live.
We're not doing it again. Okay. Tell us about the web development meeting. going to be there. What worries about me? Take a picture of the web development meeting behind us. We're going to have sliders. It's going to be amazing. There's the web development meeting. There's there's a giphy image from where there's there is there's an image. I want an image there with the with the Getzy images with the Getzy images watermark on it. The the Getzy. What's Getzy? Getzy images. There you go. What a Getzy images. So Sting's going to be there at SmackDown. At the web development meeting. Piss off! <laughs> on October 4th, what worries me a little bit about this is it's going to be two legends heavy, and then you're going to get all of these new viewers tuning in for the first time, hey, it's on Fox, and then they're going to see all the old timers who maybe, maybe they watched before, mm. but they're not going to get a taste of the real SmackDown. The real yeah, SmackDown that's is on an Drago. Issue. Unless they do so, I'll be, of course he is. He is Mr. SmackDown these days. El Smacko Downo, as they call him in some parts of the world. But yeah, unless they, do, as long as they do something, that incorporates the the current roster with these lads, rather than it being like what the Raw reunion was, which was, here are some of our friends walking down and walking back again, with the exception of The Fiend who attacked Mick Foley. Well, that's like, what you should do here. We you should do kill stuff all of them. Like that. Just kill all of them. Every single one of them. <laughs> should be deaded by a new boy. But also what worries me, uh, as away from the old new, new viewers type thing and introducing them to people who aren't there all the time, Sting is on the same show, potentially, as The Undertaker. No, oh, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Let's not tease it. This isn't. Don't don't bailey us here, Thomas. <laughs> Apparently, Sting, Sting, Sting is, is an just, old naked man Sting's with a just bad back. tweeted The Undertaker saying, "Do you want to have a match in Saudi Arabia?" <laughs> smiley face, smiley face, heart. And then Undertaker's replied with, "OMG, yes, but in gift form." <laughs> right, I'm dying here. I'm going to cut this news video. <laughs> I might have a nap. Uh, next. Live stream to announce doing a web development meeting yes! on Thursday. Going to live stream the whole <laughs> thing. So I make sure you tune into wait. that. I don't have an outro. Here's Adam Pacitti at his web development meeting. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. You can follow us on Twitter at Cultaholic. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Cultaholic. If you enjoy what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And most importantly, don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.